What is up guys, welcome back to another FIFA 22 video. So today I'm going to be showing you how to complete the one to watch Camavinga. If you're looking to buy some cheap FIFA 22 Ultimate Team coins, make sure you check out U7 Buy. The transactions are safe and you'll receive your coins within a blink of an eye. Make sure you use code K at the checkout for 5% off. The link is in the description. Also guys, if you're looking to accessorize your controller and give it a new and improved look, then check out Fatal Grips. They do joystick grips and controller skins that look and feel amazing. The grips and skins come in an array of different colors and styles to choose from. And use the code KN10 to get 10% off at the checkout and the link will be in the description. Okay, so as we all know, uh, there was a new uh, play objective. The first ever one, the one to watch Kamavinga, which was released on Friday. Uh, that is when the actual whole, like the whole game came out, uh, the standard edition, I'm pretty sure. Um, so that's when a lot of people are going to be playing on the game. So it's good that EA did actually give us um, a good one to watch player that is most likely going to get upgrades during the season. Uh, so it's going to save us uh, like 100k or so on his team of the week cards if he does get any. Um, so yeah, it's just going to save us coins, which is actually very, very good. He's from uh, France, he's playing for Real Madrid obviously, so he's going to get a lot of links, which is a bonus as well. Um, and his stats is just incredible, he is very good in game. Um, I've used him quite a lot, but he is going down in price due to the current market crash. Um, so if you do manage to pick him up now for some cheap, um, or well, for cheap, um, and then obviously over time, he will go up eventually. So... Um, the thing is, he is still obviously um, in packs just because it is a player objective, untradeable, so it, you can't pack him. Um, so yeah, we're just going to start off with the first objective then. Moves to Madrid just to score using La Liga players in 12 separate matches in the live uh, foot friendly new allegiance. Now, um, there is, I'm going to show you the new uh, foot friendly um, and I'm pretty sure it's just like one max loan. And then, um, I'm not sure on the other um, uh, requirement, but it is pretty easy to actually do. Um, and yeah, there's like, people are actually doing the uh, first goal rule, I'm pretty sure now. I don't know why, but um, I've been playing, as you can see right now, I've been playing a couple of matches and people are just quitting straight um, as soon as someone scores the first goal, which I think is a bit too early for that. But um, yeah, I mean, I guess we'll take it if that actually happens. But obviously there is a game limit, so you need to bear that in mind as well, which I obviously will make another video on. Last year, the video did actually do very, very well. So I'll probably make another one if FIFA 22 does have a game limit, which I'm pretty sure it does. Um, so yeah, just to score using La Liga players, La Liga players are very cheap at the moment. Obviously there is the market crash, so literally everyone is. Um, so like you can get yourself Aspas 84 rated for like 1.1k. Uh, on bid, it's so cheap the players are right now. Uh, Anaki Williams, I'm not sure on his price exactly, but it's pretty cheap. Um, and yeah, you can obviously get Suarez, etc. like that. It's just to uh, play a minimum of 12 matches and you have to score using a Liga player in obviously each of those games, which is pretty easy to be fair. Um, then we move on to Premier Return. So score 10 goals using Premier League players in the life of friendly new allegiance um so for this one you just have to score 10 goals using obviously premier league players now that can be literally center mids etc depending on your formation that you play uh right now i'm using a right winger and a striker which is rodrigo and suarez as my um for my liga santander so they're gonna get those goals now my premier league players are going to be uh, Fred, I think it's Scott McTominay and uh, Indoor Bele, just to get a French link to, you'll see right now, but um, that's what I'm using right now. They're quite cheap at the moment. Um, I just recommend fast players that can actually shoot because you need 10 goals. Uh, the good thing is you don't need it in separate matches. You can all get it into one game, but I don't think that's possible at the moment because there are a lot of people that just are trying to sweat, trying to get this card um, because obviously people are starting on the Friday as soon as the game comes out. So, yeah, another easy one there. Not too bad. Um, then the third one, we have a fresh start in France. Assist five goals with crosses using league and players in the life of friendly, the new one. Um, so, for this, um, you would need either a left winger or right winger. Well, depending on your formation, obviously. But you want your um, 
either your wide midfielders or your wingers, obviously, to be from League Earn because you, you, in order to score from a cross or assist from a cross, you have to press X on Xbox or um, box on PlayStation. You just got to tap that, really, um, depending on how far away your player is from actually scoring from a cross. Um, so what I recommend you do is you, you can't score... Um, from a low driven cross, which is obviously RB and R1 on uh, PlayStation, uh, and expect that to be counted as a cross because that's what not um, that's not what EA actually put out. Um, so that's quite unfortunate. But yeah, just do it the old-fashioned way. Just press X on Xbox or Box on PlayStation. Uh, get your five assists. No separate matches needed, which is actually good again. Um, and then one once that is done out the way, then you can obviously put out like. Uh, either a Premier League player that you have to obviously get your 10 goals or a league um, a league of Santander player so here we have our first win condition um, it's just to win nine matches obviously in that uh, a life friendly mode which is actually decent because I've played three games I'm pretty sure one two um, and then obviously I think the the first one which I did was um, I think it was like a two goal lead and then I just lost the whole thing uh, I didn't get a goal as well. So um, this isn't going to take too long, I think, um, with the way people are obviously playing with the first goal. Uh, just quit. So, yeah, I'm going to hopefully go in to, uh, well, now and show you my, uh, well, show you his in-game stats. If I go into my squad, it should be here. Yeah, so this is the squad that I'm actually currently using. Um, the only player that is in my starting 11 right now is Nelson Samedu uh, or Samedo. Um, and I am actually doing some trading methods and trying to basically get as much coins as possible because I have obviously just started the game. Now, if we go on to concept squad, uh, concept player, sorry, uh, France and special, I probably have to go down really. Yeah. Cause there's a lot of French icons right now. So Camavinga, here he is. I hope that he has got four star week for our I'm not entirely sure. He's got four star skill moves, which I think is actually kind of a meta in this FIFA, just because there are so many new uh, skill moves that you can actually do. Um, three star weak foot. I mean, I haven't really seen a huge uh, impact on this FIFA right now. Six foot, very good. High, high again, very good. Left foot doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, it's a very, very good card. That is his in game stats. His agility and balance for a six foot uh, central midfielder is actually decent. Like, the stats is very well rounded. It's just a bit like, um, obviously, it's the start of the game, so it's not going to be great. Um, but hopefully, when he gets a few Team of the Week cards, this card should be a beast. Um, if I do get him, I'll probably make a team around him just because he's untradeable. And it's just a one to watch card that just looks good. So when you go into matches, might scare the opponents. Got the flair trait, which is actually decent. Uh, and technical dribbler, which actually suits the four star skill move. Um, not maybe his body type because he is quite tall, lanky in game. So I don't think he might feel, uh, well, agile anyway and smooth. But yeah, that is literally the end of the video, guys. I definitely recommend you to complete it. Make sure you drop a like and subscribe if you are new to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video.